as a parent, you expect your child to get to school safely when riding the bus, but not all buses should be on the road. In fact, many are put out of service for safety violations. In a Target 2 investigation, Ellery McArdle shows us what inspectors look for. Once a year, school districts in Wisconsin have their buses inspected by the state patrol. Inspectors say it is common to find safety violations, but it doesn't take much for a bus to be pulled off the road. This is what Donumentum sees, the bowels, the inner workings of school buses. It's important that somebody's looking because I don't think everybody would. She's been inspecting buses for more than 20 years. From the engine to the first aid kit. You know, nobody really thinks of a school bus. They just think they run and nobody ever questions them. Don says violations are common. She takes a bus out of service every day. She says common violations include lights out, brake leaks, and broken springs. All violations Target 2 found in these records for Appleton, Green Bay, and Oshkosh districts in the past two years. I don't think most parents are aware that the buses are even annually inspected. Tonight I'll show you more of Don's inspection at the Sevastopol School District. Also, what violations were found in this stack of records and what bus operators have to say. Ellery McArdle, Action 2 News. Once a year, the State Patrol is required to inspect school buses in all Wisconsin school district to make sure they're safe for your child to ride in. Target 2 looked into those inspections and discovered that violations are common. In tonight's Target 2 investigation, Ellery McArdle shows us what was found on local buses. This is what Donumentum sees, the bowels, the inner workings of school buses. A view she's seen more times than she can count in her 20 plus years as an inspector. It's important that somebody's looking because I don't think everybody would. Make sure that matches. Right now, Don is checking 11 buses at the Sevastopol School District in Door County. From the engine to the first aid kit. When she comes out, we, we're ready. We really hope that we haven't missed anything, but it always helps to have that second set of eyes look at everything. Linda Underwood, administrator for Sevastopol School, says Don typically finds something that's been overlooked. This day, she did. According to records obtained by Target 2, three of these Sevastopol buses were put out of service for brake and light issues. Here on bus number eight, you can see this light is out. Don says having a light out is one of the most common violations. In fact, all it takes is one burnt out light to have a bus pulled off the road. Other common violations include fuel leaks, broken springs, and rust holes. All ones Target 2 found when reviewing more than 1,000 pages of school bus inspection records for Appleton, Green Bay, and Oshkosh area school districts in the last two years. However, the number of buses approved for service far outweigh those disapproved. In the last two years, 14% of Green Bay school buses inspected were taken out of service. In Appleton, 13%, and in the Oshkosh area, 10%. It's certainly our hope always that all of our buses pass inspection. Uh, we take great care here during the school year and then do some extra things during those summer months when we're not using the whole fleet to make sure that everything's maintained. You know, nobody really thinks of a school bus. They just think they run and nobody ever questions them. But that's Don's job year round. Oh good. Until next year. Once safety violations are found on a school bus, the owner must have the issues fixed within five days. Inspectors have an electronic system to notify them if those fixes haven't been made within that time frame. I called all bus companies where we found violations. Lamer says it does its own safety checks every 1500 miles and its buses are not put back on the road until a violation is fixed. UW Oshkosh Head Start says it has its own mechanic on site with the inspector to help understand those fixes. I did not hear back from the other companies. Ellery McArdle, Action 2 News. And you can find a list of school bus violations from the Green Bay, Appleton, and Oshkosh districts on our website, wvay.com. Just click on Target 2.